Hello and welcome. My name is Biagio Mazza, pastoral associate of St. Sabina Parish in Belton, Missouri, and I'm here to welcome you to another Do You Know series question. Um, as we begin this brief series on the stewardship Christian lifestyle and our call as disciples, uh, today's Do You Know question is, do you know the meaning and significance of a stewardship lifestyle? Stewardship focuses on the word steward. Steward is one who receives God's gifts gratefully, who cherishes and cares for them in a responsible manner, and shares them in justice and love with others, especially those in need. Christian stewardship is actually a, an entire way of life. Huh? It's rooted in the Christian conviction that everything that we have is a gift from God. These gifts do not belong to us. Uh, we are called to care for and nourish all that God has gifted us with. By caring for God's gifts, we honor God, by sharing God's gifts with others, we honor and nourish God's human family. The best example of this is Matthew 25 in the final judgment scene, in which by sharing with the least of our brothers and sisters, we connect with God and with one another. We acknowledge that God's gifts are given not only for ourselves, but for the common good. One of the best passages on this is Paul's letter, first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 12, where he speaks about the purpose of the gifts that God has given us. Huh? Um, when we don't share God's gifts with others, uh, they become the opportunity that they can become obstacles to our Christian growth uh, and our Christian discipleship, and not opportunities to grow in God's love and God's care and concern for others. In not sharing God's gifts, we really violate the biblical injunction that God has given us in caring for the powerless, especially the orphan, the widow, and the stranger in our midst. By sharing, we become more faithful to our baptismal call. We model Jesus, who willingly shared completely of himself for all. Um, we draw closer to God in everything, in this selfless, in imitating that selfless lifestyle of Jesus himself and Jesus' values. Huh? Uh, the steward lifestyle enables us to become humans that the kind of human beings that God intended us to be, while at the very same time realizing, experiencing the joy, satisfaction, and rewards of a life shared with others, especially those in need. Now, for us as Christians, Eucharist is the ultimate example of a life shared with, in a stewardship mode. And what I mean by that is that in the Eucharist, we celebrate God's gift of himself to us who feeds and nourishes us. And as we celebrate Eucharist, we are sent out to care and nourish and feed all of God's human family the way we have been fed by Jesus himself. Um, so typically, in the stewardship lifestyle and mode, there are three, uh, focused on three of God's greatest gifts uh, that have been given to us. The gift of time, the gift of talents or resources, uh, sorry, the gift of talents and abilities, and finally, the gift of treasure or resources that have been given. Now, it's very important to realize that not all of us have been given the same kind of gifts. Um, uh, some have more than others and so on. But no matter the gifts, hmm, we are all called to share what we have been given, no matter how small or how big the gift. Hmm? So, as we continue our series, what we will do is we will begin to offer various ways in which one of the, you know, these gifts can be shared with others so that all God's people can share and be gifted with God's giftedness and blessedness. Huh? Uh, in so doing, we become loving stewards of God's creation, and in so doing, 
we are sharing those gifts that are given not just for ourselves, but for the common good. These are gifts uh, that are given to us to feed and nourish the entire human family. And that's why we have been gifted to us. It's always important to remember that these are not exclusive just to us, but they're given for us to share with all of God's human family. So we will continue our series on the stewardship lifestyle by focusing on time, our talents and abilities, and our treasure and the gifts that we have been given. So I hope you will return again as we continue to explore the stewardship lifestyle, and I hope this has helped you to explain a bit more the background to what a stewardship lifestyle is all about. Thank you very much.